Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Testing Medibytes. I am your friend Amugan Shaktivel, and in this video, we are going to see how we could set up Playwright. Right? Um, again, there are only few things needed to get started without wasting much time. Let's get into it. Um, first, you need to have Node.js set up in your machine. And then it's a, it's a very simple process. You could do that. And then you need an IDE to work with Playwright. You could use JetBrains Aqua. Uh, I am going to use IntelliJ. I have a licensed version of IntelliJ, so I'm going to use it. Um, but then uh, if you if you want to go for a free version, you could ob obviously choose Visual Studio Code. Since I spend a lot of time working with JetBrains products, I feel I can code faster. So, so, so I'm using IntelliJ. Again, you can also use Aqua. It is free for now, but I cannot guarantee it will be free uh, down in the future. So yeah, so you can choose the ID of your choice. Um, and then last, last but not least, the Playwright test package itself. So we're going to install them one by one. Let's see how it goes, right? Um, so yeah, so the first thing is uh, we want to have Node.js installed. So you can say Node.js download, and it's pretty simple process. You could go here. And then based on your operating system, you could just install it. It's a pretty simple process. Um, you know, I, I highly recommend to, uh, you know, go for the, um, you know, stable version. So you don't have to face any, any particular issues. So yeah, that's about it. And then uh, the second one we need is, is the uh, IntelliJ or Aqua, whatever it is. So uh, in my case, I already have IntelliJ and I have personal license. So I'm using it. If you want to use Aqua, you can go for, aqua intellij uh, download and then you could download it from here um yeah it should be pretty simple process uh, so this is id uh, so aqua jet brains right so so you can go to this particular link and then you can download based on your operating system um that's pretty simple process as well um the last one is the playwright test package itself for that, um, I'm going to go to the Playwright documentation itself. So, so maybe down the lane, if there is something changed, you know, um, you know where to look for the latest command to install Playwright. So, I'm going to use npm. If you are going to use yarn or npm, you can go ahead. But you know, for me, uh, npm does the job really well, so I'm going to use npm. Um, so, I I'm going to create a new folder here. So, new project. So. And then let me call it as a uh, uh, playwright uh, YouTube uh, tutorials or whatever, right? And then I, I'm going to create an empty repository. And yeah, that's all about it. Now let me open the terminal. And then uh, here, uh, I want to run this very simple command to install this. Uh, it's a very simple process. Uh, you don't have to, um, since we are going to use TypeScript, um, you know, it will be, you know, you don't have to install it before itself. Even if you install it, that's okay. But you know, while you run this command, it'll give you an option to whether you want to choose Playwright. Uh, sorry, Playwright with TypeScript, you can choose it, right? So now I'm clicking on enter here. And then it asks me um, what kind of language that you want to use. Um, yes, you can choose TypeScript. I highly recommend TypeScript because of its uh, advantages. Uh, we will cover that in the upcoming videos, but for now, let's keep it much simple here. Uh, let me choose TypeScript. And you can choose any particular uh, pack, uh, name for your directories where you're going to store your test. Uh, for now, you can choose it to be test, uh, untest. You want a GitHub Actions workflow. Uh, we can add it later. We can create it by ourselves. It's not a big deal. So for now, let's go with the default. Um, it's asking me, do you want to install Playwright browsers? So uh, for me, I already have them installed. Um, or it, what it does is it installs all the three browsers. So WebKit, Chromium, and then the Firefox. So I don't want all of this. If you think you don't want all of this, you can choose no, and then you can, you know, you can install it by yourself. Um, for example, if you want to install just the, um, just the Chromium thing, uh, Playwright install hyphen hyphen with devs Chromium, right? So you could use this particular command to install it for you. In my case, it's already there. So it's just took a bit of second and then it populates. But in your case, it will download it. Based upon your uh, requirement, you can download the browsers you want. And I'm going to focus mostly on the Chrome part. So yeah, so we are done with the setup. And this gives us the uh, really good folder structure here. And if you notice, we have got the package.json. And these are the two important things that we need. 
playwright test, which is very, very important, which helps to write our playwright test and the types uh, from the node that, that's going to help us, you know, debugging and stuff like that. Um, and now the other one that is really important for us is the playwright config.ts. Um, so you should see a file like this. We will come to, uh, you know, these things and dive into much detail. But for now, let's see if we could run a test. Okay. So, so you could run either the test examples or the test folder here. So for example, I want to run this test um, and let's see if our setup is correct. So npx playwright um, test. And if you want to run a specific test, you could also choose. So I want to run the test inside the test folders, um, example.spec.ts. You could also use this command, but then this will only run it in headless mode. So what I'm going to do is I can choose hyphen is and headed. So it, it runs with the UI. So you could see the test execution. Okay. And then the problem is I don't have Firefox and WebKit installed. So, so it's failing for me, but the other two tests have passed. What you can do is um, you can go to playwright.config.ts and then you can see here, this is the kind of code. Um, this is the project that lets the test also runs on other browsers. We don't want to do cross browser testing for now. So let me comment this whole thing. Now, if you go ahead and run the same test again, right? So I'm going to run the same test again. And this time it should, you know, yeah, it should, it should only run it on Chrome browser. So both the tests got passed and our setup is ready, right? We will dive into all these things in the upcoming videos. I'll see you guys in another great video. I didn't thought about it from Mumudan. Bye-bye.